What's up guys? It's your girl Ashray and I'm back with another video. Vlogmas baby. I am y'all. I had a crazy day. A crazy day. I don't know if y'all could tell I had a crazy day, but I had a crazy day. So <sighs> um so <laughs> I had a student that hasn't been to school in two, well, I didn't see her Monday because I didn't go to work Monday. She didn't come to school Tuesday. She didn't come to school Wednesday, but she showed up today. And she turned the whole class out. Turned the whole class out. <laughs> and, yeah. So, so, long story short, she basically ended up getting suspended because she bust I don't want to say bust but she basically took another student's head and bashed it against a chair and that student has a cut it's about this long and it was swollen and yeah I had to calm him down I had to write her up so yeah that that's how my day my day i was so frustrated with my kids today i was like you know what i'm over it i'm over it um so but yeah so what i kind of this video like i'm just i want to talk to you guys about something and that it bothered me it kind of bothered me when this person said this to me but i just feel like um it is what it is but at the same time I don't understand why people like I I honestly I just can't believe she she had the balls to ask me this. So, you know, ev everybody has their their different beliefs, their different faiths. I believe in God. I do. Uh I'm a Christian, but I'm a gay Christian. So, and this is another reason why you don't share everything with everybody and that's something that I I'm learning. So, I just shared with her, you know, my IUI situation, what was going on. And she know, she doesn't know that I had three failed IUIs, but she knows that I had two. And so, she said to me, um, do you think that this is God's way of telling you that he doesn't want you to get pregnant this way? So, I looked at her. And I said no. Because I no well I got offended because I was like, is she asking me this because she thinks it's wrong for me to be gay? Or is she asking me this because she really believes that um a baby should only be created in a natural way? Cause she asked me did i try to have a baby the natural way and i i never i don't i never like really talked about my personal life like my lifestyle or anything like that so i just was like my response was to her was that um i don't have a male partner that was my response to her and i don't know if she was saying that that i shouldn't be trying to have a baby through iui oh the wind like really messed me up whatever <laughs> I shouldn't have a baby um, through IUI because I'm gay or my bad somebody called me um, so I was trying to figure out if she was trying to say that I shouldn't have a baby through IUI because I'm gay or I shouldn't have a baby through IUI because it's not the natural thing to do because she did ask me did I have did I try to have a baby the natural way and so i think <laughs> i kind of shocked her when i said oh i don't have a male partner so i think that kind of made her back off and i don't think her intentions were ill-willed or anything but i think that sometimes people should watch what they say 
not everybody lives the same lifestyle and my opinion on this whole thing of me trying to have a baby through IUI or through IVF or whatever not having a baby the natural way God created these procedures God created doctors God created science so this this is all through God because if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't have doctors. We wouldn't have these procedures. God created doctors for us to go see. Like, this would be the same thing. It would be no different of me going through this if I had a male partner. And I was like, I can't, my, we can't get pregnant, so we're going to the doctor. It's the same thing. The only difference is I... I don't have a male partner. I am gay. So I don't have a male partner. So that's the only difference. This is no different than a heterosexual couple going to the doctor and saying, hey, we can't get pregnant. We need your help. It's the same thing. There's somebody at my job who has a male partner who had an IVF because she couldn't get pregnant. It's the same thing. Like, that bothers me. Like, people, like, judge or feel like if it's not God's way, it's not the right way. Everybody doesn't live their life the same way. Everybody doesn't have a husband. Everybody, you know, just, I don't know. It, it just keep your opinions to yourself, basically. Like, I don't feel, I don't feel like, I do not feel like, um, this wasn't this isn't God's plan for me because if this wasn't God's plan for me to get pregnant this way I wouldn't be I wouldn't be doing it if it was God's plan for me to have to get pregnant with a with a man then I would be with a man but I'm not and it's not like I woke up one day and said oh I'm gonna be gay no this is something that I that I battled with myself with for a long time. A long time. Okay? I ran from this. Oh, my bad. Like, I keep getting interrupted. Um, so. So, yeah. I just feel like, um, it's no different than if I would have had a male partner. Um, God created doctors. <laughs> God created them with the knowledge to be able to do these things. This is not only am I having this I these IUIs because I'm a lesbian. I'm also having these IUIs because I'm infertile. And that is what infertility doctors are for, to help you with infertility. So I just feel like people just, if you don't understand something, just keep your opinions to yourself that's how i feel about that so yeah that's just that that's that that i just um i don't know i i had to take a step back when she asked me that though but i it's just it is it is what it is i guess but something positive about my infertility if you see my bracelet right here my aunt bought me a pineapple and I, and a pineapple see right there a pineapple represents infertility so my auntie bought me a pineapple today she surprised me with it she surprised me with it she was surprised it. she wrote a uh, box and she wrote a note on the box and then she, when i looked inside she's like don't open it don't open it until i leave and then um when i leave open it <laughs> And then text me. So, I didn't open it until she left. And then, like, I, I almost cried. Because she bought it to me at work. We worked together. And I almost cried. And she was like, I was like, thank you so much. Because that means a lot to me. And it really does. And I put it right on my bracelet. And I really appreciate that. But, yeah. So, y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that, um... IUI is not God's plan or IVF or anything anything that has to do with infertility that you have to go to the doctor to get help. Do you think it's not in God's plan or do you think that 
like I feel that God created these doctors to help us and that is what um that's what we should we should be able to do that and then nobody should judge us like or judge anybody that has to do that because everybody is not fortunate enough to get pregnant the natural way even if even if they weren't like me and they didn't have even if they do have male partners they sometimes still don't get pregnant you know that's why we have all these options but that that's that's about it that's all i had to say about that so thank you so much for watching this is vlogmas day five and yeah so i'm about to go do some pretend to do some lesson plans <laughs> lesson plans i don't know uh but what i do know is that i'm wore out and i'm ready for tomorrow because i need a break but again thank you guys so much for watching i love each and every one of you and i will see you guys tomorrow please remember make sure you remember to like comment and subscribe because if you're not subscribed you're gonna miss out on all of this love you all bye